What's happening all my YouTube peeps? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. It might look like a cold, shitty, gloomy day here in Ohio, but it is kind of a cold, shitty, gloomy day here in Ohio. But we're about ready to warm it up a little bit. We've got a really awesome build coming up. It's a 2018 Ram 3500 cab chassis that we've got a customer build here. We've already got the Hillsboro bed installed for one of our upfitters. So we got that already on there for you, which I think is a really badass looking bed. Have a look at her there, she's pretty sexy. But one of the coolest things we're gonna be doing is something that not many people have seen on newer trucks is a Fab Fours Grumper. Powder coated, and we're gonna get this thing installed, Fab Fours Grumper. We're gonna be put on some uh, Toyo Open Country MT tires so this guy can do the work that he needs to in any kind of conditions on or off road. So, make sure you guys stay tuned. So most guys would say, damn, that's a nice truck. And you know what? It is a really nice truck. This is a freaking 2018 Ram 3500 cab chassis. Got the Al Alco aluminum wheels to them. Looking shiny. Now that whole front end there, everything in chrome, is about ready to split. I'm gonna get out of here. We got our Fad Fours Grumper that we're gonna be putting on there. I'll show you that here in a second. And then on the rear, couldn't leave her left open, Customer opted, opted for a uh, Hillsboro aluminum bed with the skirt toolboxes. Really, really nice, high quality bed. Got the gooseneck in the middle. Nice section there in the rear. Really nice LED lighting to it. I really like these beds. They're nice, lightweight, and they give you all the room and all the function that you need for getting all the jobs done this guy's gonna need to do. So let's get inside and check out what we got from Fab Fours. When you get one of these Fab Fours grumpers in, this is the package it's gonna take. Place it's gonna be coming into your shop, all big and heavy coming in. You guys better have a forklift to get this thing off off the truck. Right there from Fab Fours. And inside, it's gonna come in, I believe there's four total boxes in here. You got the base bumper, the cup, a couple of uh, fitted parts there, hardware and grill inserts are gonna be there and other grill side wings and everything in the box underneath of that. We'll get these boxes open and get all the parts spread out for you guys to see. After being the kid in the candy store on Christmas day, opening all the packaging, Here's all of the parts. This is like the biggest big kids puzzle ever. All these nice hard powder coated parts. They look gorgeous. And they were all packaged really, really well. They were all packaged and wrapped up. Each individual part in this fabric-like material. They're like fabric bags for every single one of them. So I'm not even worried about the scratch, any scratches on them. They are all gorgeous. They were all shipped very well. So now we're going to be going through to the destructions and we've got the two new bags of hardware for the thing here. Uh, the main section which is right there. That will be bolting up to where the factory bumper goes on to right now. We've got to disassemble the truck and get everything off of that, including the intercooler, because that's going to be mounted a little bit different. And then we're going to be putting everything from the middle together, all from the middle in, before we put the center section onto the truck.
Now on diesel specific trucks, you're gonna have to take the intercooler out because you can see the two mounting tab bolts that go through these front frame horns. To pull them out, of course they mount them on the inside, so you got to pull them out inwards and the intercooler's in the way. So, gonna have to take the intercooler out and then we can pull the frame horns off. Next thing we're gonna have to do is here in the frame horns, there are these anti-crush spacers here in the middle. They have a spot weld here on the bottom section and on the top section here. We're gonna have to break those spot welds loose to be able to get this whole crush washer plate assembly out of the front of the frame. So the reason that we had to take those separator plates out was because we've got another crush plate that we've got to fit in to the frame rail. That will fit back in and then there's two bolt holes in the sides back here. So this will keep the frame from crushing about four inches back inside the frame. And then see the in the instructions they tell you just to break this weld off and then fold up that crush bracket here in the front so you can slide this in, but I broke it out and I would ra much rather just re-tack weld it in the top and the bottom. So we're gonna clean up these two spots and tack weld that uh, crush bracket back in. Video. <laughs> We've got the main part of the bumper all situated up into the regular uh, frame. We use the standard U-bolts back from the other bumper, the 916 hardware right there going into the lower L portion of the bracket. So that's where our other crush bracket was to keep the frame from crushing when we tighten that up later. That all installed at this time is where it would be a really good idea to be putting your winch in because you've got access right now. So we are not, customer didn't apply for a winch on this one, so everything's all mounted up. And then we also mounted the uh, intercooler back up at this time as well. It seemed that that would be about the best time to be able to do it as this is the uh, most room you're gonna have also. As you can see in the instructions, uh, the whole center assembly, you're gonna pre-assemble it on a nice surface with all of the different parts stacked up. So we've got our main center part set here on the box with some nice covering to keep it from scratching the front face of it. And we're gonna start building the front center section. When you're stacking these up, you're gonna be having your one plate in between here. If you wanted to powder coat that a different color ahead of time, because that's gonna show a little bit, you would do that. Then we've got our big spacer there. And then our silver colored hardware is gonna be put on from the inside with a rubber faced washer put towards the face of the grumper. And then on the inside, we've got a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut. So that's gonna line the inside that mounts to there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting the grill, the mesh grill on the inside with the zinc coated uh, yellow uh, hardware for that one. When you've got 
all of the sides put together. This is what each section is going to look like with the nice silver hardware on the outside with the rubber uh, backing on that washer. I'll tighten down against those and then on the inside you've got your hardware that's the yellow zinc color mounting the grill portion into the spacer piece. So that's the one section done and we're just going to go ahead and put the other sections in before we get the full center section ready to mount. We got the main center part all mounted up here and we aligned it up and down where I liked it, tightened up the 10 millimeter bolts here. We left the two 14s kind of loose for the brackets here and the two that were here that mount the fair lead section which is the main mount for the bottom of this and then adjusted it side to side. I know it's not dead on to the fair lead, it's like a quarter inch off that way but we're dead even up on the lights which is what I really want because that's what's the most visible. So now that we've got it level side to side, we can go ahead and tighten down our mounts up here and we already tightened down our fairly ones. Now the grill's all fitted. We still have left our bolts loose for the in and out tightening. Uh, here where it attaches to the frame, we've loosely attached the bracket that's going to be out here for our wings. And that's the next thing that we're going to be putting on is the outer sections. So we've got four bolts that are going to hold it on. One, two, three, four. Into From the middle out, one, two, three, and four are going to go in through there. And then you're going to have one single piece of hardware that's going to attach to that bracket right there. Loosely put everything in so then we can do some adjustment. Here's the finished product all done and mounted up. We've got it nicely aligned with everything we need to. Gapped with the lights evenly on either side, gapped underneath the light set evenly across. We can see where it comes out to. We know that we'll have to do some trimming of the inner fender there, so we will have a second part to this video. We will likely be putting in some fog lights here. There are some uh, slots up in here for up to two cube lights that'll mount from the top. We got a hold of them and they're supposed to get back to me on whether there's plugs for the front sensor mounts or not because this specific truck does not have front sensors. So that'll be in the second video. We'll be mounting the um, sticker, the or badge I should say right there. Uh, the customer didn't want to mount for now 
for the winch so that's open for him you can see underneath we did get the plate for the intercooler guard is mounted as well that's there and everything seems to line up pretty nice and neat we're going to close the hood here oh just an fyi you do have to uh, bend forward your handle for your hood release that does have to be bent forward because otherwise it's going to hit your bumper there that's about the fit and finish that we're going to get there looking at this side this is what you're going to see we're going to be uh, trimming that area on the inner fender up as well on this side get it to sit nice and flush all in all that was pretty simple project it definitely takes two if not three people at some points to help lift and hold things into place as you line them all up and we're gonna get going with uh, you know number two video on this one as well we're gonna be putting the uh, Toyo open country mud terrains on this thing also and hopefully putting some lights on and doing some little finishing up so make sure you guys tuned in for that one that's about all I got for you guys today. We kind of ran out of time, so there will be a part two to this video, like I said before, where we'll do the tires, lights, and get everything uh, final finished product for you guys to see. I know how you hate me to leave you on a cliffhanger, but I'm gonna have to for the day. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out, I do have some merch available also now over on Teespring. That's gonna be in a link that I put down below, www.teespring.com forward slash rustbelt dash mechanic, where we've got uh, high quality t-shirts and some hoodies available for you guys. If you guys feel like donating to the channel on there, every single dime that I get from that one is gonna go right back into the channel, making some cool and awesome content for you guys to enjoy. I really do appreciate it. Thank you and you guys stay awesome.